Hi, and welcome back. Sidechain compression plays an important part in electronic music, in all sorts of genres. If you're interested in getting good results within the modular, there are a few options. Today, we're going to have a look at sidechain compression in general, as well as the Nobula KK, which offers a creative solution. As always, you can use the timeline to navigate to a specific section. And if you want to support my videos or you want to get access to the patch illustrations I use in this and many of my other videos, have a look at my Patreon. But now, let's dive right in. In this chapter, I explain what sidechaining is, show how you can patch crude sidechaining with a VCA and what the problems of that solution are. Sidechaining is a production technique where an effect or parameter in the main audio chain is influenced by a copy of the audio in a sidechain. For example, you can place a distortion effect on a piece of music and have the distortion go up every time you yell something through a microphone. But sidechaining is often used as synonym for volume ducking. In electronic music, the main audio chain is mostly a baseline, submix or complete track the effect a volume control or compressor, and the sidechain audio influencing the effect a kick drum. In this setup, the audio of the kick drum hits the compressor, so the volume of the audio in the main chain is reduced every time the kick is audible. In a modular, you can send audio like a baseline through a VCA to control the volume. The sidechain would have some trigger source and a kick. You can use a copy of the trigger to fire a simple attack decay envelope, invert that signal and have the inverted envelope close the VCA whenever the kick hits. This envelope gives you control over the attack and decay time of the ducking. This is great for a pumping effect, but it isn't responsive to the kick in any way and you have to manually match the envelope with the groove of your beat. An alternate option is to send a copy of the kick to an envelope follower and invert that to close the VCA. In this setup, the volume and decay settings of the kick directly influence the ducking, but you lose manual control over the attack and decay times of the compressor. In any case, both setups are very crude sidechain techniques. Whenever a kick sounds in your track, that kick just punches a hole in the main audio without any regard of what's going on in the main audio or the frequency range of the kick. And that's a shame because this setup is mostly used to create space for a kick in a buzzy mix. But a kick is a sound with very specific frequencies, so to give it space in a mix, you don't need to slam all other audio. The Nabula Kikane offers an interesting and easy way to set up sidechain compression in a compact modular setup. This digital module combines two crucial things. It creates a kick with a very flexible wide range of sounds and it offers sidechain compression to an incoming stereo or mono audio signal. This is very efficient for compact modular setups, but because the module does both, it can also offer more powerful and selective sidechaining. That's all fun and games, but useless if the module doesn't produce a nice kick. So let's start with that. The controls in the blue section are used to set up the sound of the kick in detail. There's a main pitch control here. drive which distorts the used waveform of the drum from sine through triangle to square. A 
level control for the kick drum, not the incoming audio. The click control adds a range of different top sounds to the transient of the kick. DK controls the length of the kick. The attack reduces the transient of the kick. Bend adds pitch bend based on the decay envelope. And punch adds pitch bend based on a short plucky envelope. Finally, the reverb adds a stereo reverb to the kick, not the incoming audio. The reverb time is related to the decay control. The module uses the specific kick you created to apply sidechain compression to the incoming signal. You can control the sidechain with the knobs in the pink section. There's a large knob for the depth of the effect and it follows the controls for both the attack and decay of the kick. But a large part of the magic of this module happens here, with this switch. It lets you select one of three modes. In normal mode, it functions as explained in the previous chapter. The volume of the audio passing through is reduced based on the envelope of the kick. This creates classic pumping sidechain sounds. However, in spectral mode 1, only frequencies around the pitch of the kick are reduced. This leaves high frequency sounds like hi hats or airy samples untouched. And in spectral mode 2, only frequencies very close to the pitch of the kick are reduced, leaving even more high and mid range sounds of the audio in the main chain intact. In the spectral modes, there is less of a heavy pumping effect, but still the low end is cleaned up to give you a present punchy kick. Here is that effect on white noise. And here on a full mono mix. module you can find all jacks. There's a trigger input for the kick, an accent input which makes the kick more punchy when triggered simultaneously with the kick, but fires a slow attack sub kick when triggered on its own. There's a CV input for the decay as well as for the pitch or level selectable via a switch on the back of the module. And finally two inputs and two outputs. These can be used for mono or stereo setups. Again selectable via a switch on the back. I'll explain each of these in the next two chapters, but I want to highlight a few controls and sounds first. Because you have separate control over the volume of the kick and the depth of the sidechain, you can create transitions like this. I enjoyed the fact that the accent triggers a softer kick. Here is a steady, regular trigger to the kick. Here, some offbeat triggers to the accent. And here, with accents overlapping the kick. I also think the reverb stands out. They managed to smash a myth here because this sounds good without muddying up the mix. A powerful aspect of the Kikane is that it can deal with stereo signals and offers stereo sidechain compression. This mode is great to produce a full mix straight out of the modular.
demos in this chapter are all basically the same patch with different settings. I used two mixers to create a stereo signal with everything other than the kick. And I feed the stereo mix into the kickane. The main outputs are recorded through my outboard mixer. I mostly use a mono bass and lead synth voice as well as two percussive elements. I also send the bass and lead voice to a separate mixer and use a wet stereo reverb as effect send. The stereo reverb is sent back into the main mix, so before the sidechain compression is applied. I mostly use the kickane to create a steady kick, with some slow manual tweaking. But there is a lot of fun to be had when modulating the pitch in decay. For example, with two sequencers. This can create entire bass lines. The other mode is a mono mode, and I have to say I'm happy they included this because it offers a few different options. In this chapter, I use a mono mixer to mix a bass and lead line as well as two percussive elements and feed the result into the kickane. I send the mix without kick as well as the dry kick to an outboard mixer. There, I use a subtle external reverb to add some space. An advantage with this setup is that I can mute the kick on an external mixer after the sidechain is applied.
This mode also offers a secondary option though. You could send the kick through an external processor, like a distortion, and back into the right input of the module. In this case, the main input and return kick are summed to a mono mix and available from the left output. Because I know some people will appreciate this, here's just a montage of clean kick sounds and knob tweaking without any comments. I'm happy to add the cocaine to my little techno case. It's kind of built around it to be honest, but I plan to do a lot more videos with the case in the future. If you'd like to browse through my monitor videos, have a look at any of these playlists. Also, smash that like, subscribe and bell button if you want to see more monitor content from me. But that's it for now, thanks for watching and see you next time.